What's up, fam? It's Richie from Social Beluga Whale, Tonka Truck, Fat Trap Banger here. That's what we're gonna be making. That's what we're gonna be making here today. So, Corpse Husband, who is he? Is he a YouTuber, streamer, uh, internet sensation, faceless demon from the underworld? Well, probably all of the above, but it is undisputed that he's definitely having the best year of 2020 out of everyone, and uh, th th there's a pretty low ceiling for that. But little do I feel like most of Corpse's newfound hundreds of thousands, if not millions of new followers, know is that he does music, and it's pretty good. And yes, I would consider myself a Corpse fan, or at least a fan of his music. I, I feel like it has the most longevity compared to a illustrious, lengthy career of among Us Let's Plays, but I have noticed many repeating themes in most of the songs. Not saying they all sound the same, but there's a lot of motifs, themes, sounds, textures, you name it. Uh, they, they appear in pretty much every song. So I want to take this video to compile that all together and make my very own corpse song, or at least the, the best I can. So let's begin. So I want to record the sound of me digging a hole in my backyard, and we can kind of form a narrative around that of like, corpse choked out one of his cat girls consensually of course and uh the song's about that yeah i'm into it <laughs> okay that's a pretty solid start but i want to find a few more sounds just to really really bring it to life so lately i've been using a plugin called omnisphere 2 for almost everything I've been doing lately with producing, and I found this sound called Burning Sensation. I think the gravelly sounds really complement the shovel, and the background muted wind sounds are very foreboding. Let's, let's find one more. Oh, wonderful. There's literally a preset called Atmospheric Wind. Oh, that's real spooky. Okay, we combine those sounds with the shovel. It so much. Now, arguably the main driving force in every corpse song that isn't obviously his voice is the bass. You gotta get the bass right. It's gotta be thick. It's gotta get those booties shaking. And uh, I think I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do. We're in Omnisphere again, go figure. And I found this preset called Two Bit Square Bass. It's very simple but very effective. <laughs> It sounds like farts, it's perfect. Very simple, very effective, but needs more bass. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh too much, too? No, not enough. Oh, man. It's perfect. Okay, now we just have the obligatory kick, hat, and snare. On top of what I call metal hits, but it's pretty much just a resampled anvil that I got on Splice, so it sounds pretty good. Generally what I found in Corpse's music is the, the more metal and the more chaos, uh, the better. So I got battery open, I found my kick, which is, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty girthy. I got my snare, nice and, nice and punchy. It's, it's pretty stereotypical trap. I got my hat which are pretty low down in the mix of what I've seen in his music, so we're gonna, we're gonna do that too. And then metal! Ah, oh, yeah. The bass, and then... Yeah! And then the kick comes in where the vocal's supposed to be. Oh, yeah. So I thought it'd be fun to complement the shovel sample of a uh, homicide with chainsaws and, and drills on, on select parts of the song that, that make sense. Kind of kind of like this. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with that. So the last and not arguably, it's the most important part, is the vocal, the, uh, the voice. And I'm going to say this right now, it, it's impossible for me to recreate corpse husband's voice he has a naturally very bassy voice a freakishly bassy I, I am really really fucking tired it's one of those things where you're just born with it 
and he's using it to his advantage, and it sounds great for the genre he's in. I don't have that, so we gotta improvise. How to make your voice lower. Okay, what I'm reading here to get my relatively feminine tenor voice down to at least a baritone, at least an attempt to match Corpse's tone. Uh, we're just gonna breathe real heavy, so if you, you wanna do this with me. This is gonna be a train wreck. Apparently smoking cigarettes lowers your voice. Um, don't smoke cigarettes, they're bad for you. I don't smoke, but uh, there's a reason why metal musicians and people with deep guttural voices do it. So, for the sake of this video, let's <laughs> stop trying to get my voice deep enough. I might become a corpse. <laughs> Why do you get scared? Uh, yeah, that did something. <laughs> that's awful. All right. I think that's enough. I think I'm ready to record. But wait a second, we can't record without lyrics. So according to my notes, Corpse Husband generally employs themes and motifs such as cat girls choking them, hating yourself, talking about how you're depressed, uh, e-girls and what you're going to do to them and vice versa, kind of a lot of weeb shit like anime references, a general disdain for love and complicated relationships, a pretty substantial amount of vulgarity, aka uh, he says fuck a lot, and kind of a lot of topical references. I feel old. I'm gonna take between one and three minutes to throw together some lyrics and uh, let's see how this comes out.